piece leads to decreased premature labor as well as decreased miscarriages. Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be going over the causes of miscarriages. I know a few moms have messaged me about this video, so I'm finally gonna be doing that. I'll be outlining about four or five causes of miscarriages. Number one is chromosomal abnormalities with one of the parents or partners involved. And if someone finds that they're getting repeated pregnancy losses or unable to maintain a pregnancy, often a physician will refer to genetic counseling which will then verify if one of the partners involved has in fact an abnormality and from there on they will discuss steps um, to possibly achieve and maintain a pregnancy for full term depending on what the results um, have indicated with regards to chromosomal abnormalities. Number two for causes of miscarriages can be uterine abnormalities such as adhesions or septums. Uh, these can generally be taken care of or managed with surgery, but that again depends on di the diagnosis. Often the surgeries involved in correcting these uterine abnormalities are minimally invasive, which meaning it's not cutting you open wide and removing things. It Number three are thyroid dysfunctions and diabetes. So. If you're finding that you're not able to maintain a pregnancy, you're having multiple miscarriages, it's a good idea to get some general basic blood work done, including a thyroid and um, blood sugars to see where you're at. And I know for myself, I often fall into the hypothyroid category as soon as I'm pregnant within the first five, five weeks or six weeks into the pregnancy. So I'm started on a higher dose of Synthroid, which, ha which helps correct that. So correcting your thyroid levels as well as your diabetes leads to decreased premature labor as well as decreased miscarriages. Number four are the prolactin levels circulating in your blood. So often women with greater levels of prolactin circulating in their blood were associated with higher risks of miscarriage. So again, getting some blood work done, uh, if you do find that maintaining a pregnancy is difficult for you, is a great idea in identifying prolactin levels. The last one is clotting abnormalities within your body. So clotting abnormalities can cause um, issues with placenta and of course loss of a pregnancy. So there's actually really simple and easy um, interventions that can help manage your blood clotting factors or functions that can put you in the normal range so you don't have these complications. And I actually know um, friends who have had miscarriages because of inherited or acquired blood clotting, clotting diseases that have been easily cor corrected with um, injections or pills. I really recommend getting a thorough blood workup um, if you do find that it's a challenge and it's um, difficult to maintain a pregnancy for you. Anyways, I hope this video helped in identifying uh, four or five of the causes of miscarriage. And just note that um, seeking early intervention is always a great idea because you will definitely prevent some of those reoccurring losses and those losses affect you so deeply emotionally and physically. So if you have a hunch that there is something not right, that you're having these repeated losses, you can't maintain pregnancy, please go and see your physician and they will definitely guide you to the best decision for you and your family. Anyways, please subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like it and if you don't like it, like it anyways and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Okay, have a wonderful night. Bye.